violation of section 33956 of the California Penal Code. Your location has been traced. Please remain with this unit until a communication security team arrives. Thanks, I'll Failure try to them do later. So will result in Broadcasting from the PLA Situation Room in Roy, New Mexico. You're listening to The Snowplow Show. Now it's time. On Prank Call Nation. Cactus. 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 I am playing game. Cactus. 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 Am I supposed to be doing this? Cactus. 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 This cocksucker. Cactus. 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 You've got to be crap on my ball. Cactus. 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 It's going to be a fuck job to edit. Cactus. 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 Roy the retarded boy. Cactus. 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 How about if I come down and punch your head off? Cactus. 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 You blowing smoke up my ass. Cactus. 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 You think a tracer can stop me? Hey everyone, this is Roy, and you're listening to the Snowplow Show, which is sponsored by Ben Kilburn. Ben Kilburn will be fully responsible for everything that goes wrong today. On today's show, we're going to rob a bank by telephone, by telling a bank employee that we're with the corporate office, and we're going to get the employee to give the bag of money to a random customer, and we'll have them use a Sharpie to draw like a dollar sign on the bag. So it's like an old-timey robbery. It's going to be hilarious. So stay tuned for that. It's going to be a lot of fun today. Hey, has everyone heard about this new Wave feature for the iPhone? It's pretty amazing. It makes me feel stupid because I I bought a a Galaxy S5 a few weeks ago. But I'm going to read this flyer that Apple put out. It says, Wave is our latest and greatest addition to iOS 8. Wave allows your device to be charged wirelessly through microwave frequencies. Wave can be used to quickly charge your device's battery using any standard household microwave. All you have to do is place your iPhone into the microwave for a minute and a half. iOS 8 contains new drivers that interface with your device's radio baseband, allowing it to synchronize with microwave frequencies and use them to recharge your battery. That's the coolest thing ever. So if you have an iPhone, you should update it to iOS 8 right now and try it out. Just put your phone in the microwave and put it in there for about a minute and a half and you'll have a fully charged battery. It's amazing. So of course, all of that's completely fake. According to all these news articles that I'm reading about the whole microwaving your iPhone thing, it's something that was thought up by 4chan and they made a really nice professional looking graphic that showed how this all works. And it looks really good. It looks realistic. But uh, yeah, you can't put your phone in the microwave because that destroys it. There's all these news articles that that are posting images of people's tweets because people are tweeting because they're angry because they fall for this. People actually do this. They put their phones in the microwave and cook them. And then they're really surprised that the battery's not charged up and their phone's ruined forever. So that's got to suck, getting an iPhone 6 and deciding that you should microwave it. And I don't even know why I'm talking about this. Uh, People keep sending me the articles about this and the graphic and everything. But I guess everyone's just sending me this because it demonstrates the same thing that a lot of the phone calls on this show do, that people are just kind of stupid and gullible. And it's hilarious! You'd think I'd have some sort of crazy iPhone prank planned after talking about that, but... But nope. Just gonna move on. Not do anything iPhone-related. Last month, I got a letter in the mail. Well, I mean, I got a box, and the box had a, uh, a cactus cooler soft drink... And Dieter's uh, Ginger Ale, I think is what it was called. And there's a letter with it. It's from the Evil Monkey. And he says, I thought you might enjoy these two delicious carbonated beverages. All I request in return is that you make a reference check on me. I listen to the show somewhat frequently, and I remember you mentioning the idea of reference check requests. I got fired from my summer job at Jimmy John's about a month ago for being too slow at making sandwiches. Maybe you could pretend to be a Taco Bell manager or something and say, his application here says he was a manager. Why did he quit? And he says he was not a manager. He just wants to see how they'll react. Uh, P.S. They take caller ID seriously. Okay, so I'm going to change my caller ID so I'm actually a Taco Bell in their area. He also asks me not to allude that it's a prank call. They'd be mad if they thought I put anyone up to that. Well, come on, I'm going to say crazy things. They, they might figure it out. I'll try not to let them know it's a prank call, but... 
No guarantees. He says, honestly, I really don't care what direction you take it. I have faith in your judgment. That's going to be the biggest mistake you've ever made, Mr. Evil Monkey. Oh, he also says, keep in mind that this is a request, not a demand. Sorry if I'm giving the impression that two cans of soda entitles me to your time and mental anguish. No, most people get their prank requests for free. So you're a big dummy for paying me in carbonated beverages. Jimmy John, can I help you? I'm calling from the Taco Bell. My name is Roy. I just wanted to do a reference check on an employee you have you had working there. Uh, hold on one second. Hi, this is Lauren. How can I help you? Hello, uh, this is Roy from the Taco Bell over on Taylorsville Hi. Road. I, I'm just calling to do a reference check on an employee that used to work there. Okay. Uh, his name's Will. Uh, yeah, Will was Will was good. I liked Will. Um, he worked here uh, while he was still in high school. Um, he was willing to help us out with anything, so. Oh, okay. I would and, definitely hire him back. Okay, great. And he was the manager there? Uh, he was not manager, no. He was a, he was a, uh, in shopper. Oh, that's weird. He wrote down that he was the manager. Uh, Will, yeah, no, he was in shop. He worked as a, as an employee. Oh, okay. I'm sorry, what'd you say your name was again? My name is Lauren. I'm the manager here, and I was manager when he was here, too. So. Oh, okay. All right. Well, he actually wrote in his application the reason he left is because he was fired for... He got caught with Lauren stealing money from the register. And you're not the mm-hmm. same Lauren, are you? Um, There was a different Lauren here, so it may have been her. Oh, okay. Well, is she the one... Like, I guess he was working at the register, and, and she came in in a ski mask and pretended to be a robber? And... Uh... uh no, and, um, the, none of that. None of that uh, rings a bell for me. Oh, okay. Because uh, he wrote on here that he uh, he was fired because they, I mean, first they were stealing from the register, then they pretended to rob the place with this girl Lauren. Are you sure that wasn't you? Are you? I'm like a hundred percent positive. Okay. All right. And All right. The the reason I'm actually calling though is because I mean we we hired him as a manager because he said he was a manager there, and then he he yeah. had he got the safe keys. And he took off with all the money from the register and the safe and everything. Oh, uh, no, I don't think that happened. No, no, it happened here at my place, here at Taco Bell. Oh, 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 and, oh. Yeah, we'd already uh, hired him about a week ago but before we did the reference check. And, and now he's disappeared oh. with all the money. Oh, and, and my he, goodness. He, he drove no, away. I would never have expected that. Yeah, he drove away in my truck, too. I haven't been able to get my, my truck back. Oh, my gosh. No, no, no. I, I never would have expected that from him. Uh, he was a younger guy, right? Yeah, yeah. But he said he was 25. He was just had a growth hormone issue or something that made him look, appear young. But he wrote that he was oh. tw- he's not 25? Uh, he, when we had him here, he was still in high school. Oh, and that was just this past uh, couple, was, few months that, ago? That was... Uh, when he was here, that had to have been a, a year ago, probably. Oh, a year. Okay. Yeah, I don't think he'd be 25 yeah. yet then. Huh, okay. No. And he was also the glory... I'm sorry. He, was he the glory hole operator there at, at the restroom? At the a glory hole operator? No. Yeah, yeah. You know, in the restroom, that he was the glory hole attendant? No. Because that's what he wrote on his application also. He said no. he was the manager... we don't even have... We yeah. don't have that position. <laughs> oh, well, uh, nobody mans the glory holes in your restroom? No. So they're just sitting there empty, like unmanned? The bathrooms? Yeah, no, the glory holes. You know what a glory hole I is? Did. No. Oh, no, oh he, he said he was the glory hole attendant. Maybe he just did that on the side when he wasn't busy being the manager? Uh, maybe. I'm not sure. None of none of this rings a bell for me. Okay, he he said he didn't report his tips to the IRS for the when he was a glory hall manager, like all, all the tips that he received. No, um, no, I don't even know what you're talking about. Honestly. Are you sure you're not the Lauren that that robbed the Jimmy Johns when Will was working at the register? Uh, yeah, no one has robbed this Jimmy John. Well, what, no, it was a fake robbery, though. He just did it to to steal money, to, like, more effectively. No, that never happened. Oh, well, it, no, that never happened. Well, he said it was Lauren, the manager. Uh, well, I'm going to say he's probably making that up. And I asked him, like, what's the craziest thing that ever happened to you at your last job? And he's like, well, me and Lauren, the manager, we got caught having sex on the fryer. No. 
No. We don't even have a fryer. Not the fryer. So, you know, you know the sorry, grill. The I grill. Don't think- I don't know the terms no, because I'm I work sorry. at Taco Bell. No, I'm sorry. I don't think that uh, this person knows what he's talking about. I think he's making up a bunch of crap, honestly. And I have been here for a while, so I know that's not none of that is true. So yeah. I'm sorry, but I'm really busy and I've got to get off the phone. Are you just covering for him because he stole the money? No, sir. I'm sorry, See, but I have to leave. He stole Thank my you. truck. <laughs> <laughs> that's what you get for... Uh, Trusting my my judgment, having faith in my judgment, Will. The next time someone calls for a job reference check on you at that place, she's going to be really skeptical. (laughs) Thanks for the cactus cooler, though. Oh, and I guess I better rip up this letter. Here's a heroin addict who is currently using. He has a short temper, is paranoid, and is a huge liar. He claimed to serve in Iraq, but he never left the U.S. while in the Army. So yeah, let's screw with a heroin addict. That sounds hilarious. Hello? Hang up the phone. He did. He hung up the phone. You have reached the voicemail box of... Hello? Hang up the phone. I did. I freaking I hung up and you called right back. Hang it up. Just hang up the phone. Who is it? Listen, don't worry about it. Just hang up the phone, motherfucker. Who is it? You just hang that phone right up. Eugene? Who is it? Hang up the phone. Who's calling? Don't worry about who it is. Just hang up the phone. Okay, I did hang up, and then you called right back twice, and it, I didn't pick up the last time you called. Well, I'm telling you to hang up again. Okay, well, can I ask who's calling? No, you cannot. Just hang up the phone. He hung up. He's not supposed to hang up. He's supposed to get mad and refuse to hang up. You have reached the voicemail box of nine. (sighs) Okay, now he's hitting the fuck you button. Maybe if I call from a toll-free number, that'll make him pick up. Hello? Hello, this is Steven from Sprint Wireless. We understand you've been yes, getting sir. you've you've been getting some nuisance calls. Yes. Look, when that happens, you just need to hang up. Just hang up the fucking phone. Hang it up. Hang up the goddamn phone. Eugene. Yes. Who is this? Uh, this is Gary from Sprint Wireless. Just hang up your phone. You just hang it up. Hang it up, hey. Eugene. <laughs> he keeps hanging it up. I don't understand. You have reached the voicemail box. Okay, I've tried a bunch of times and now he won't pick up the phone. Because he's tired of hanging it up. Apparently heroin addicts are really good at following orders. So I guess I shouldn't have tried that on him. Because it worked. Some guy on YouTube though, he keeps telling me that I need to do one of these hang up the phone calls again. Like the good old days. This is Mark. Mark, hang up the phone. Hang up the phone? Yeah, hang up the phone. Why? Because I'm telling you to hang up the phone. Who is this? Don't worry about it. Just hang up the phone. Who is this? Hang up the phone. Tell me who this is. Listen, goddammit. Hang up your phone. Who is this? Hang up the motherfucking phone, Mark. You need to tell me who this is. No, you need to hang up the phone. Who is this? Don't worry about it. Just hang up your phone, Mark. I want to know who this is. Well, you're not going to find out. Just hang up the phone. Hang it up. What can I do for you? Hello. What? This is Clint Leonard. What can I do for you? I don't know who the fuck you are. Just hang up the phone. Did you call us? Yeah, and I'm asking you to hang up the phone. Oh, okay. Don't call back here. Well, you hang up the phone, and we'll see. Can you hang up the phone? No, you hang up the phone. I guess you're not going to tell me what to do, so if you want to hang up, go ahead and hang up. No, you hang up the phone, you stupid dick face. You better hang it up. I don't have to do shit. No, you're going to. You you better hang up that phone. I got unlimited minutes, asshole. I can leave it it here for hours. I have unlimited minutes, too. Well, I guess I'll tie your phone up. I got lots of phones. Just hang up the goddamn phone. No. Yes. I don't know why we're hanging up the phone. Why aren't you hanging up the phone? Why don't you hang up the phone? Why would you just sit here and listen to this? 
because I can't understand why you're being this way. Well, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Just hang up. It's some sort of scam. It's a, it's a, yeah, it's a scam. He wants you to hang up, so, yeah, I can just leave it. It's not much fun, so he can just hang up. You hang up. You guys better hang up. I don't have to do anything, asshole. No, yes, you do. Who the fuck do you think you are? Yes, you do. You better hang up the phone. (laughs) You called me. Why Why should I better hang up the phone? Because I said to. I told you. Hang up the phone. You told me. You don't tell me shit, Dick Tracy. Now, why are you fucking calling here? Hey, it's none of your business. Just hang up the phone. What do you mean it's none of my business? You called my cell phone that's registered to my business and it's none of my business why you called? Just don't worry about it. Just hang up the phone. No. I'm not hanging up the phone. You better hang it up, you big dumb retard. And what are you going to do to me if I don't hang it up? Nothing. Nothing at all. But you better hang it up. Oh. Then I'll just leave it. You can just stay on on the line as long as you want. I want you to hang it up. I really don't give a flying fuck what you want. You'll hang it up eventually. There's where you're wrong, my friend. No, I, I'm pretty I don't know why, why you called here. What, what is your name? I'm pretty sure I'm right. You're going to hang up that phone. No, I'm not hanging up you that phone. You better hang what it up. What is your name? What's your name? I'm not telling you my name, but you better hang up the phone. I don't have to do anything you want me to do. Yes, you do. And I'm not... You hang it up. Well, then why would I have to hang up your phone? Because I said so. Because you said so, and who are you? Don't worry about who I am. <laughs> I'm not hanging the phone up. You better hang it up. Oh, what are you going to do? You going to drive down here and try to whip me? Just hang up the Why phone. Why don't you come on? You go ahead and hang up, asshole. No, you hang up. Nope. Good, good. Just don't hang up then. See if I care. I hope you don't ever hang up the phone. I don't care. I can leave this line on for weeks. I don't give a shit. Good. Do it. I'm leaving it on. Good. Check back in. Check back in with me in a couple hours. Okay. <laughs> Fine. If he's not going to hang up, I'm not going to hang up. I don't have to hang up. I'm going to make another call to another person without hanging up. We're going to make a three-way call. Here it goes. I can't believe he's not hanging up. Hello? Hang up the phone. What? I said hang up the phone. Why are you calling me? Don't worry about it. Just hang up the phone. Uh, no. You called me, buddy. Well, why don't you hang it up then? Well, why did you fucking call me? It's none of your business. Just hang up the fucking phone. I would no, know. You shouldn't come. He did the same thing. I'm not hanging the Wait, phone what? up. I'm not hanging my phone up either. He called and did the same shit with me. You better hang it up. I hope you don't have this line registered to your name because I've already contacted the police. Good. Because I don't know what kind of scam you're trying to pull, but you're not going to pull it on me. I don't care. Just hang up the phone. You hang up the damn phone and don't call this number again. No, you hang it up. Hang it up. How about if I just post your number all over Facebook and have everybody on Facebook call you? I dare you. Do it. Do? Yeah. Yeah, do it. You better hang up the phone, though. No, you need to kiss my ass. No, you better hang up the phone. I wouldn't hang up because he called another person. He's doing the same thing to her. Hang up the phone. Nope. Yes, you better. No, Hang really? Up. I better? Yeah, you better, or else. Or, or else what? What, asshole? what are you going to do? Hey, you shut up. I'm not talking to you. I'm telling this no, bitch to no, hang up the phone. Tell me to shut up. You need to hang the phone up and leave us alone. No, you hang up the phone. If you hang up the phone, you won't hear from me anymore. Huh. No, 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 my friend. You called me, you hang up. No, no, you're going to hang up first. I'm never hanging up. No. <laughs> this phone Fine, never hold this down phone, buddy, as long as you can. Oh, yeah, we'll see about that. 
Well, we'll see, because I got unlimited, so it don't make a damn oh, good. thing. So, so does that other asshole. We're all going to just sit here. I guess yep. we are. You both need to hang up the phone, though. Not going to do it. You better hang it up. You better shut your fucking mouth and just shut it. I that just calling from Wisconsin, and I'm just going to put his number all over Facebook for everybody calling. Hey, call, and just says, hang up the phone. I don't know. No, I'm still got him on. I'm on unlimited. I hope damn how long as I could. No, you're going to hang up the phone is what oh, you're going to do. I command you to hang up the phone. I command you both to hang up the phone. Uh, not going to do it. Hang you it up. The wrong people, you better hang it up. You better just shut the fuck up and hang the phone up. No, Let's you see. better shut the fuck up and hang your phone up. Why? What are you going to do to me? Nothing. Just hang it up. Well, tell me who you are. Maybe I'll drive up to Wisconsin and beat your ass. No, you won't. You, you can't beat anyone's yeah. ass. Yeah, I don't think so. I don't think you You don't know. think you can either? Yeah, yeah. I'm glad we no, agree no, on that. I, I think I can whip your ass. A little dick like yourself. Just hang up the phone. I'm not hanging up the phone. Why not? What, what? You fucking called me, and you're an asshole, and you're gonna hang the phone up. No, no, That's you're why. gonna hang it up. You're <laughs> hanging up the phone. You picked the wrong guy, asshole. No. You picked the wrong guy. You better hang it up. Oh, or what? You ain't driving to Ohio. You probably so broke you can't get here. Just hang up the phone. No, not gonna happen. Good. <laughs> Good, we'll just sit here then. I, I got lots of phones here, and I'll just keep you hanging right on there. I don't care. Yeah. That other lady hung up. She knows what's good for her. No, hell, I didn't. I know you didn't. <laughs> I just wanted to hear you chime in. No, I ain't hanging up the damn phone. He fucking called me. <laughs> no, you picked the wrong pitch on the wrong day, buddy. I'm telling you. Right on. Just, just right hang on. up. Just hang up. Come on. Please hang up. No. Pretty please. Nope. I'll, I'll wire you three hundred dollars if you hang up the phone. <laughs> Hell no. You don't need that much money. Well, how about you hang up the damn phone and don't call this number no more? No, you hang up the phone and I won't call back. Yeah. Not gonna happen. You better hang up. Uh, you better just sit and hold that down phone, buddy. Just, you know, I will. You don't want to I hang will. Up. Watch that's me. Fine. Well, that's, that's great, because, I mean, you freaking called me. You just watch me. I'm never hanging up the phone. You guys should talk to each other. I'd like to know what scam you're running. There's no scam. Just hang up the phone. Then so why'd you call us? Don't worry about it. What do you mean, don't worry about it? I don't have to tell you anything. You know, I don't have to hang up my phone, so I guess you're fucked. I don't care if you hang it up. Dude, where are you from? I'm from Ohio. Oh, well, he's in Alabama down here. Oh, he's in Alabama. Well, he, he didn't figure out that Alabama was a little stronger than the Wisconsin boys. If that's oh, I guess. Bad. If that's so what they picked the wrong he's bitch to call in Alabama. Yeah. I'll just plug it into the cord. So I guess we're just going to sit and do this all day. Yep. Gosh, did we lose him? I'm, I'm still here. You better hang up the phone. No, we're not hanging up. Just, just hang up. Both of you, hang up. No, hey. buddy, why don't you just uh, hold on to your end and, you know, I'll just, I can just lay my phone down oh, and go I'm, ahead and I'm, continue I'm, what the hell I do. With. I'm going to hold. I'm, I'm, I'm not doing. hanging up ever, but... You know, you should hang up. I can wait. I'm not hanging up. I'm not hanging up. Never hanging up. Good. Okay. Hang in there. That's great. Good. Fine. So currently we're at 17 minutes for the first guy and 9 minutes for the, the female. Neither of them are showing any signs of hanging up anytime soon. I will continue to edit out all the blank spots and keep everyone updated on things as they develop here. Both of you need to hang up. Just hang up. You can end this whenever you want to hang up. No, no, you hang it up. 
No, no. Hey, I keep hearing you talk to somebody offline. Who's, who's that? I'd like to talk to them, too. Hey, don't worry about it. Just hang up. Oh. Well, hey, I'm not hanging up, so fuck you. Good. I hope you never hang up. Not going to. You better not hang up. Don't you ever hang up the phone. Pretty soon your battery's going to run out. Then what are you going to do? That's right, you're going to hang up. You go ahead and hang up, my friend, and we can be done with this. No, you hang up and we'll be done with this. No, I'm not going to hang up. Why don't you hang up? No, I want you to hang up. Why don't you put the other guy that you've been talking to on the phone? Why don't you put him on? I'm tired of talking to you. Let's talk to somebody fresh. But he's not available. He's in the restroom right now. Oh, well, when he gets done, I'll be on the phone. Have him come to the phone. He's taking a big poo. It's going to be a really long time. You mean he's, he's giving birth to your brother? Is that what he's doing? That must be it. Okay, more time has passed. Both people are still on the phone. Both the Ohio guy and the Alabama lady. And neither one of them are responding to me. I think they've left. But they have not hung up yet. They are trying to win the battle. So I'm going to do a call that a guy named Mark sent me. Mark says that he loves the tenants from hell pranks that we do. If you're looking for more apartments to prank, I'd love for you to prank my apartment complex. And he gives me the name and the apartment. And he tells me to use apartment number 143. And he says, maybe you could say that you need maintenance to come over and fix the carpet because you're running a raccoon rehabilitation and the raccoons tore it all up. Or that you're breeding cockroaches for science and they all escaped in drains and ventilation. Thank you for calling Penix South. This is Melissa. May I help you? Hello. Um, I, I'm a tenant here in a, a unit 143. Yes, sir. Yeah, I just had a small problem. Okay. What's uh, going on? Well, I, I, I run a raccoon rehabilitation place here in my living room, and my carpet's all torn up now. A raccoon re- how, What? what? A, a raccoon rehabilitation? You should not be doing that. No, I, no it's fine. I'm, I'm kind of a professional. I, I do this for a living. But uh, my carpet's all torn up now, and, um, you know, a lot of it's been soiled and stuff. And torn up with yeah, their claws. Yeah, I don't think that's something that you should have been doing. Yeah, well, I no, mean, it's it's how I it's how I make a living. It's how I pay my rent. Yeah, well, I mean, that's something you're gonna yeah, have to replace. Yeah, hey, you didn't tell me about this raccoon a little. Hey, hey, you, you shut the you fuck up, me. man! You hang up the phone. I'm not hanging up the phone. You better hang up the phone, not you, ma'am. I, I need to talk to you about the raccoons. The other guy needs to hang up the phone. Oh, hold on just a moment. Okay. Hey, you just need to hang the phone up. No, no, you hang up the phone. I I just can't do that. I've been instructed because it's a scam. I'm not hanging up the phone. What kind of scam would this be? Hey, I don't know, but why would you call someplace and tell us to hang up the phone and then get belligerent about it when we wouldn't hang up? Because you won't hang up. Because you need to hang you up the phone. The woman, you didn't tell the woman in Alabama Melissa, how may I help about you? the rat. Melissa? Uh-huh. Hey, um, I, I, my raccoons have torn up all the carpet in the living room, so I went ahead and pulled it up. We're just going to have hardwood, fl- them, hardwood Melissa, floors now. Idiot. Who is this? Um, my na- I'm, I'm in apartment 143. Yeah, what's your name? What is your name? Roy. Hold on just a second, That's okay? Idiot. Okay. I'm trying to talk to my landlord. Shh. She, is, she would know your name if you were in apartment 141 if she was your landlord. 143. 141 oh, is Toby. she still know your uh, name if, she, if you were her landlord. Not if it's a if big complex. Landlord. It's a very you large... Really need to hang up the phone. It's a really large complex, so you don't know shit. Well, you need to hang up the phone. No, you hang it up. You called us, you called us, and we're not hanging the phone up. Good. I hope and you... everybody you call, I'm going to keep jumping in on, so I got a lot of time. Okay, that's all right. Are you at work or home? I don't know where I'm at. Yeah, you do. Which one is it? I don't know. I, apparently, you're at home in your apartment. No, no. I, I'm just yeah. calling about my apartment. It doesn't mean I'm home in my apartment. Oh. Oh, okay. Well, here, what? Durr. 
Yeah, why do you got more with people on the phone? Because they haven't hung up the phone yet. What's that? They haven't hung up the phone. They need. Okay, to... are you still there? Uh, yes, Melissa. Hello. Hello. Okay. What did you say your name was? My name is Roy. Roy. What's your last name? Gerbel. Can you spell that for me? G H E R B I L. Okay, and you're apart in apartment number what? One forty-three. One forty-three. And what's your issue? Uh, well, we've just pulled up all the carpet. So should we just put that in the dumpster then? You pulled up all the carpet. Yeah, because the raccoons they messed it up. Uh, they, you know, clawed it up and 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 pooped and peed all over it. What raccoons? I run a re- raccoon rehabilitation service here in the living room, and um, I uh, have no. That is not allowed. What is your phone number? Well, no, it, we. I've been doing this since I've lived here. Um, no. What is your phone number? Uh, it's three three seven six five two one. But you can't tell me I can't do that because that's how I make my living. That's how I pay my rent. Okay. Let me call you right back. What for? We're on the phone the right now. And I will call you right back. Why, why, you, why, are okay? you gonna, why are you hanging up? Because I need to speak with my leasing agent and then I will call you right back. Well, just, okay? put me on, just put me on hold, dummy. Excuse me? I said just put me on hold. What's the difference? You just called me a dummy? Well, because you're being kind of dumb. Oh, He's just wanting you to hang you. up the phone. Oh, that's weird. She hung up. I wonder. Yeah, wh- she hung up. Why'd she do that? Well, she, she ain't quite as tough as I am. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you've been on for yeah. forty minutes and thirty-two seconds now. Yeah. You're gonna win yeah. the prize. Um, you, you get some applause. Thank you for calling Pen South. This is Melissa. May I help you? Hey, Melissa. What the leasing agents say? I'm sorry? What the leasing agents say? What do leasing agents say? Uh, rent apartments. <laughs> I'm <not laughs> no, I'm asking about my apartment because I talked to you before. Unit you know, 143? No. You, need, you were speaking with the manager. That's who you need to speak with. There's two Melissas in this office. Oh, You're my God. The, that's so stupid. manager, Melissa. So hold on just a moment. All right. Hurry up. So, hey, did the supervisor get out of the bathroom yet? No, he's not currently available. He's with the customer, sir. Oh, okay. Why don't you just hang up your goddamn phone? So, so how many raccoons do you sodomize on a regular basis? Seven. Seven. Well, that's a good number. Thank you. 49 minutes. You've almost made it to an hour. If you make it to an hour, you win. Outstanding. I'm still not going to hang up. After an hour. Neither am I. Okay, good. Neither am I. Good. So we can, we can continue this call later. I'm going to put you on mute, though, so I can go ahead and have a private conversation here. But I'll I'll check back in with just, you Just hang up the goddamn phone. Okay, I hung up on the apartment because they won't pick up. I tried calling back several times, but no luck. So I'm going to save this one for tomorrow, and I'll finish dealing with Melissa. So while both of these people are still on hold... Let's call a request from Acid Reflux. He wants me to call a place called Brandy's Cakes. And he says, Hey, Arby, yesterday I was out walking on a remote stretch of local bike trail when I found a phone number freshly carved out in the wet gravel. Google and Facebook show that it belonged to a small cake business located in a town over 200 miles away. I have no idea why this number would be in the gravel, but obviously they need a call from you. He says that I should ask for a really controversial cake of some sort, similar to what me and Stacy used to do. Say it's for a football party and describe some sort of elaborate football cake, but then in the end, ask for a design to have a big circle and a slash through it with fuck the Huskers, written below it in cursive. Because that would be hilarious, because the Huskers are the state's football team, and they appear to be big fans. I'm looking on her cake page. She actually has some really nice cakes. And if I were doing a live show right now, I would ask you guys to Facebook mob this place. Wow, she made a boob cake. Hello? Hello, I'm interested in ordering a cake. Did I reach the cake place? Who I make cakes, yes. Who, uh, were you referred by somebody? Um, yeah. Or are you looking for a business? <laughs> oh, it's not a business? I make cakes out of my home. Well, could I get a cake? So I'm not sure. Yeah, like you get, if you were can you, referred by somebody. Can you write things on cakes? Like, can you write letters and stuff on them? 
Mm-hmm. Okay, because I wanted to do a, a red cake, and and with uh, letters like black letters. Can you write "fuck the Huskers" in cursive? Uh, who are you calling from? Oh, my name's Roy. I'm, it's just uh, it's going to be a cake for my brother. I would prefer not personally to do something like that, just because I can't put it on for advertising. What would you be advertising? I have a Facebook page that I use it. Oh, I well, put stuff I do on. Oh, I don't give you permission to to put my cake on your Facebook. That'd be copyright infringement or something. Okay, uh, you probably should call somebody else. Well, can to you help do you. can you do birthday cakes? Yes. Why, why can't you write "fuck the Huskers" in cursive? Do you have bad penmanship or something? I would just prefer not to do something like that. Why not? If that's what you want, I just would prefer you call somebody okay, else. Okay. Well, you with I that. had a completely other different cake idea. Ma'am, ma'am, uh-huh. can you shut your kid the fuck up? I'm trying to order a cake. Ma'am? Oh, why'd she hang up? Hello? Hi, is Brandy available? No, she's not. Who is this? Oh, she just, I just talked to her like a minute ago, so I know she's yeah, there. Yeah, she's not available anymore. You fucking she's not liar. not available anymore. Don't... Fuck you! Motherfucker, come over to this house right the fuck now. I don't have to come over. I, I just want a goddamn cake. What? Well, business is closed, pal. Why? You call this number again, we got a problem. Is it because I'm black? I don't give a fuck what color you are. You're racist, is what you are. I can be if I need to be. I, I just... Hey, can you shut your kid the fuck up? Tell him adults are talking. Hey, can you go fuck your mom? No, just shut, the, shut your kid the fuck up so hey, we can no, talk. No, you're not listening. You're not listening. Go fuck your mom in her ass. Bye. That, that's gross. That's really gross. That was gross. Hey, fuckstick. Hey, I don't know what your problem is. I just want a cake. You're a fucking asshole. Why can't I have a cake? You're an asshole. Why are you saying that? I'm a customer. You're an asshole. I'm a customer, though. You're not a customer of me, motherfucker. Well, I want to be a customer. I just want to get a cake. You're an asshole. You're an asshole. You're a fucking butt-licking asshole. That's mean. I'm sure you are huddled around the table licking each other's assholes, but I don't have time for this shit. Hey, you know what I... stop calling my wife's phone. You know what I'm going to do? You're a fag. You're a homo. You're an ass licker. You fuck your mom and your brothers. I don't know. I'm going to I'm going to post a copy of this phone call on her her cake page, and everyone can see how she treats customers. She doesn't have a cake page. She said she did on her Facebook. No. Yeah, that's what she told me. No. Maybe she doesn't tell you about her Facebook because she likes to flirt with guys on there. I I think she's uh, seeing somebody behind your back on Facebook. I'm positive she's not. Thanks, asshole. Yeah, I bet. That's what she wants you to think. She has a really nice cake page. You really don't have any other time. She has a really nice cake page on Facebook. (laughs) You've never seen it before. I thought you were supposed to be busy fucking your mom. So stop calling the phone. Okay, I will. I'm glad you shut your kids the fuck up. They were really annoying. Okay, so the Brandy's Cakes family are a bunch of homophobes. They say horrible things about my mother, and I'm very offended. I will never order a cake from this place now. Never. But thanks, Acid Reflux. That was a fun number, I guess. That was a really weird way that you found it. Who the hell carves their number in the gravel? That's just bizarre. So I have some really exciting news for everyone. Guess what? The two people that won't hang up their phone have now surpassed one hour on the phone with me. Yay! Ding, ding. Um, The guy from Ohio, he's been on for one hour and 11 minutes and 28 seconds. And the girl from Alabama, one hour, three minutes and 44 seconds. The guy from Ohio, do you have anything to say? Anything at all? Aw. I was hoping for some kind of acceptance speech or or something but but no when he gets back he better hang up the phone he better hang up the goddamn phone this is bullshit lady from alabama do you have anything to say guess not well even though you're both apparently not listening to me at all now i'd like to say congratulations and you are definitely showing me who's boss in this situation i think we all know who's not going to hang up the phone now here is a request from Bob Vance. Bob Vance wants me to prank an e-juice seller. He says this guy sells custom e-juice for vaporizers. 
I asked about prices and flavors and a couple days later tried to buy some. He told me that I wasted his time and to lose his number. I'm thinking he's got a short fuse and it would probably be hilarious to call him from a bunch of different numbers asking him for ridiculous flavors, offering him chickens for payment or requesting a 55 gallon drum. I don't understand your story. How did you waste his time if you were just going to buy stuff? I think you're leaving out an important part of the story. But whatever, I'm going to call him. Hello? Hey, hang up your phone. Who is this? Don't worry about it. Just hang up the phone. I don't have to tell you anything. Well, shit, he hung up. It's with these people. Hello? Hang up the phone. Shit! You motherfucker calling me! I don't care. You hang up the phone. Don't, fuck, don't play these fucking games. I ain't got time for your fucking little punk-ass fucking games. You, you better just hang up. Just just shut your mouth and hang up the phone. Oh, I, I better. I better. Okay, I'm staying right on the fucking phone. Now show me what I better fucking do. Just hang up the phone. Shut the fuck up, dude. Please? Come, come and talk to me. Come and talk to me. I bet you're going to hang up the phone because you're scared. I'm scared. Come and talk to me. I'll leave this motherfucker on a fucking day. Come and talk to me. Yeah, I know you're going to hang up. I know oh, that's okay. what you're going to do. I'm just going to put the phone right here on the speaker, sit next to me while I watch TV. Thank you. Good, good. You'll be the third one. I've got sitting here on hold. Three people afraid to hang up. Bunch afraid of- to hang up? Yeah, you're afraid to hang up. And why would I be afraid to hang up? I don't know why you're afraid. Exactly. So nobody's afraid of shit. Because if I hang up, they're going to call me back, and then we're going to go through this all again. So what the fuck is there to be afraid of? I don't know why you just if you want to show- why, why just if you want to show if you want to show how afraid I am, see how afraid I am. You can come and talk oh, without well, a phone. Just just hang up the phone. I'm not gonna hang up. Good. I don't want you to hang up. I hope you okay, never cool. hang up. Cool. Good. Still there? Yeah, yeah. I'm waiting for you to hang up. Oh, okay. You're gonna be waiting a long time. I got a long video on YouTube I'm about to watch. Oh, wh- which one is it? What's it called? It's called Go Fuck Yourself. You ever check that one out? No. So that's the kind of thing you like to watch, huh? What, me telling you to go fuck yourself? Yeah. That makes so much sense. It does. You just need to shut the fuck up and hang up the phone. You need to shut the fuck up and come talk to me. I am talking to you. I'm telling you to hang up the phone. Come and talk to me in person. You need to just shut up and hang up the phone. (laughs) Okay. I thought I was scared to hang up. It sounds like you are, because you're not hanging up. It's okay, you can be scared. I'm not afraid of you. I'm willing to reach, meet you in fucking person right now, 526 East Barstow. Come on. Come on. Hang up your phone. Shut the fuck up. Just I'm hang up. watch a fucking movie, bitch. Shut the fuck up. Well, hey, you know what'll shut me up if you hang up your phone? And then you'll call me back again. No, no, I won't do that. I'll never call you again. Just hang up the phone. Just hang it up. That sounds like the stupidest video ever. What was that? I said that sounds like really lowbrow humor. Is that the kind of stuff you like to watch? Yes, it is. Because you're an idiot? Yes. Okay. Just checking. Okay. Cool, you check. Thank you. Got another video. Oh, he hung up the phone. He said he was never going to hang up. It has now been nearly two hours for both of those people. For the Ohio guy and the Alabama lady. Two hours. Neither one of them are responding to anything I say. So I think they've just left their phones. But I'm not hanging up. I'm not going to hang up my phone. I'm going to leave it on all night. We'll show them. Maybe tomorrow I'll do a special show where they're both still on the phone with me and we can make some calls together. I will never hang up the phone, though. But I think this is probably a good time to end the show for the day. Thank you, Ben Kilburn, for sponsoring the show today. Ben is fully responsible for the left turn that this show took when that guy refused to hang up the phone and then the lady refused to hang up the phone. Thanks a lot for that, Ben. Please support the show at patreon.com slash phonelosers or phonelosers.org slash cactus. 
now that I've said those URLs, those people are probably both listening to me and they're going to figure out who I am and who knows what will happen. They're definitely onto my scam now, though. If any of you would ever like to uh, hear the show before it's released onto the podcast feed, all you have to do is not hang up the phone like these two guys and they get a preview of the entire show. This has been the best social experiment I've ever done. Thank you, Ohio guy and Alabama lady. You guys are the best. See you all next time. Goodbye. And I'm saying goodbye to the listeners on the podcast feed. Not not to Ohio and Alabama people, because I'm not hanging up the phone. Two hours for both of them now. That's crazy.